This topic got a ton of attention in the blogosphere. An article by an American woman who said, are French mothers superior? She would watch her American children restless and having tantrums and running around restaurants and watch the French families with the toddlers sitting there having their fish and vegetables. She said, what are we doing wrong? So Sharon, I don't know, are the French superior? <laughs> well, I don't like to say that one culture is superior to another when it comes to parenting, but there was a lot of things that she talked about that I thought, oh, that's just kind of like my Midwestern upbringing. You know, that's how my parents raised me in Ohio back in the 70s. So Ohio mothers. Exactly, so really it's Midwestern mothers or, you know, our yeah. superior. Um, but the whole thing about, you know, giving your kids limits, telling the kids no, um, not letting them graze all day long and eat constantly. You know, at our house it's very much three meals a day and a snack at three o'clock. And if they come to me at 2.45 and they're like, Mom, is it snack time? I'll, I'll say no. <laughs> you know, you can wait 15 more minutes till three o'clock. Um, and I just think there's, you know, kids really do like the limits and I think it does tell them this is what you behave, you know, this is how what you expect in terms of behavior. So I, I don't think I'll ever be accused of overparenting, probably <laughs> the exact opposite of that. But for me, I noticed that the whole thing when I was reading about the, the French, they, the kids say please and thank you and they're asked to wait. And I feel like I do that with my kids, but then I don't want to embarrass them around their other mm -hmm. friends or, you know, I notice other kids don't do that. So sometimes my husband is like, you need to remind them to say thank you. And I'm like, well, they kind of know. And, Nobody else is, you know, just I, I don't want them to feel like I'm like the overbearing crazy lady mom who's like always so in their the face. So he's the French dad and you're yeah. the American mom. Well, no, like we're, we're both the French parents, but I'm trying not to be. <laughs> there are not enough limits in the Wallace Saul household <laughs> because there's not just first fruit, there is final fruit in the evening and there is grazing going on and I do think, we've, and my husband and I have talked about it and I was, it really struck me in the in the article was the, the, the limits, right, really sending boundaries and as you said Sharon, kids want it, we yeah, see it, they right. want those boundaries, they want those rules and the other thought, the other thing from the article I thought was one of the French, I don't know if it was one of the parents who said, the evenings are for the parents. And the kids can play around and do what they want, but then that was the adult time. And part of it may be the guilt of being a working mom, but it was very much like, you know, this is gonna be the time for the adults and the kids can be kids. And we do tend to, I think, sometimes yeah. overparent and overcompensate yeah. and, I don't know what do you I know, think. I know I do that. I'm like you, Amanda. Like it's so challenging sometimes when I see other kids kind of acting <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> right. you know, yeah. it's like right. monkeys yeah. to say, Ava, you know we don't do that, right. you know, because we're right. at somebody's house or something like that. But I do it because I know that she has a very big personality right. and I don't want to squash that at all. But I do want her to be able to, you know, have her own boundaries when I'm not around. Right. So. right. The thing about this kind of article is right away it gets to that insecurity we all have as parents, like oh, French yeah. mothers oh, are yeah. superior. Right. Okay, so that means I'm inferior, right. you know? Right. So I think that is part of why it strikes a chord too.